Well, lucky us. When it comes to venomous snake bites, Florida often leads the nation. Number one. We're number right. one. <laughs> number one in one thing. <laughs> the Sunshine State is home to six venomous species, including rattlesnakes and coral snakes. As News 6 investigator Mike DeForest shows us, a brand new venom unit based in central Florida is helping snake bite victims get the help they need faster. He was walking through the yard and then the snake bit him. A water moccasin similar to this one clamped onto the foot of 12-year-old Nathaniel Jones last summer. So then he ran in the house and he was panicking that he was going to die. But after receiving three doses of anti-venom, the Florida boy is now doing just fine. So this is a typical cooler that we'll show up with at the hospital with our anti-venom. Dr. Benjamin Abo tells us most medical facilities do not keep this life-saving medication on their shelves, in part because of the high cost, about $3,000 to $7,000 a dose. It'd be nice to have plenty of anti-venom, but if you don't use it, then that's money lost by the hospitals. Instead, they can call in this brand new venom response unit known as Venom 2. Centrally located in Lake County, snake bite victims in northern Florida and here in central Florida can now get help faster than ever. Believe it or not, when we started, I was completely scared of snakes. EMS Battalion Chief Dan Miller helped put together this team, which is modeled after a similar program in Miami-Dade County known as Venom 1. All the members of Venom 2 are trained in snake recognition and, and how to uh, diagnose of a certain snake bites. When a venomous snake slithers through the grass and then sinks its fangs into someone, the first step is to obviously call 911. While paramedics are on the way here, Venom 2 is already jumping into action. It takes time to get out of the forest, it takes time to get to the ambulance, it takes time to get to a hospital. Once you're there, then they need to start ordering the anti-venom. Venom 2's job is to hand deliver it to hospitals as soon as possible. You're talking about two hours, three hours, we really need to act on it. The quicker treatment can begin, the more body tissue can be saved. We help the doctors and the nurses at the hospitals determine, you know, which type of anti-venom they should use. There are about 7,000 venomous snake bites in the U.S. each year. Fortunately, few are fatal. Only five to seven people die from snake bites in the U.S. per year. That's true. But how many have permanent pain, permanent disability, or kids that can't play at recess? Those are some major issues that we're trying to help. With Venom 2 now on the move, your chances of avoiding long-term injuries from snake bites may be vastly improved. Mike DeForest, News 6. All right, I know I've seen these on Facebook a lot. How can you identify a venomous snake in Florida? Everybody sees one and posts it. And what should you do if it bites you? Mike has posted that information and more on our website, clickorlando.com.